The territory of present-day Armenia, its capital Yerevan, is the ancient Azerbaijani lands. The Forbidden History of Armenia and Azerbaijan, film of the Center for the History of the Caucasus, is dedicated to this topic. Now, through this project, people in foreign countries will be able to find out about the exposure of a number of historical myths about the Armenian side its pacifications against Azerbaijan. The film has been translated into English and presented in Baku. The author is Fahad Akundov, the head of sector at the Presidential Administration of Azerbaijan. Scientific consultant is Rizwan Husseinov, the senior research associate at the Institute of Law and Human Rights of ANAS, the director of the Center for History of Caucasus. The world community begins to learn the true history, which as you can see from the title is forbidden in Armenia. By the way, this film is addressed primarily to the Armenian public, because all these decades they have received a completely different history, and I don't even want to tell whose history is correct and whose is not. I just offer the Armenian public an alternative version that they have not heard for almost a century. One of the main messages is to show that the culture and heritage of Azerbaijanis have been destroyed by Armenian vandals is the part of the world culture. Hence, the international community is responsible for preserving at least the memory of what happened. Our film is saturated with a large number of facts and based on archival materials. This project is a great merit of political scientist Fuad Akundov, who is the main initiator, and the Center for History of Caucasus carried out a study of archival materials and tried to make the film understandable for general public. I'm sure that this is a serious step in our informational struggle to clear the information space which is flooded by Armenian pseudo-scientists with fake news and stories for almost a hundred years. I think this is a turning point. The forbidden history of Armenia and Azerbaijan has become a good study guide for those who are interested in the history of the Caucasus and the causes of the Armenian-Azerbaijani Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. There are also plans to translate the film into other languages, including Armenian.